I am as big a fan of the French vagina as you are, Eric, but come back to Earth. She's just a human. When it comes to Carnage, Game of Thrones never pulled any punches. The fantasy show's cast spent every other scene nose deep in blood and guts, but hey, at least they didn't have to actually eat blood and guts like Daenerys Targaryen does in the first season. Not even the Game of Thrones producers would demand that actress Amelia Clark eat a real horse's heart. No, they made her eat something worse. Fucking horse. <laughs> In a very bloody behind the scenes video, Clark revealed that she was convinced by the props department that her fake heart dinner was going to taste like a big gummy bear. That makes it sound awesome, except that it actually tasted like bleach. The arteries, meanwhile, were some type of large uncooked pasta. By the time the scene was in the can, Clark had eaten like 25 of the things, according to her. Yeah, I, mean, I, I ate like bits. 25 of the things. And while Daenerys managed to keep her toilet horse heart down, Clark admits that she did the very un like thing of puking into a bucket between takes. The heart also needed to stay fresh looking, so the production crew periodically added more fake sugary blood, which was extremely sticky. So sticky, in fact, that Clark got stuck to everything, including herself. At one point during filming, she left the set for a while and didn't come back. Well, that was because she had blood glued herself to a toilet. This is how you want to speak to me? Hmm? Eventually, she managed to remove enough of the stickiness and the blood to return from the bathroom, an experience probably every lover of Call Drogo has had to endure at some point. Boom! Good girl. She brings it up quite often. And, and hey, speaking of eating disgusting things that make you puke, you probably wouldn't expect Glee to come up, right? That's about as un-Game of Thrones as it gets. Like what, did someone bring stale donuts to the set? <laughs> I mean, let's face it, the show was too schmaltzy and twee to ever do anything foul on purpose, which is why it's so perfect that they accidentally made someone vomit their guts out. Toward the end of the show's final season, Leia Michelle sang her own rendition of Let It Go, the number one cause of migraines among parents everywhere. The scene was gorgeous, complete with a ball gown and softly falling snow, just one teeny tiny problem. As Michelle was singing her heart out, she accidentally swallowed some of the no doubt unhygienic fake snow, making her lose her craft services lunch on set. And on camera. Snow falling, I looked up, trying to make it magical and beautiful, and ended up choking on the snow and vomiting. Of course, the crew on the Glee set are nice and friendly folks, which is why they didn't give her a hard time. Except, well, by making a slow motion version of the epic up Chuck and playing it to her every chance they got. To her credit, Michelle recovered quickly enough to finish the scene and play Elsa for the crew's children, presumably in her backup princess costume. Of course, none of this ever made it to air, though you'll notice that in the final version of the scene, she's doing everything she can to not look up. But okay, back to naturally vomit-inducing shows. When you're talking about a show that relies heavily on people drinking fake blood, you expect a certain amount of behind-the-scenes grossness. But according to True Blood actress Anna Paquin, showrunners did want to keep their vampiric actors as comfortable as possible. That's why they offer blood in both regular and diet, which I'm gonna assume is called Blood Zero. In the show's first season, Bill tricks Sookie into drinking a bunch of his blood, and Paquin, the actress, knowing that she'd otherwise be chugging the bloody equivalent of a six-pack of extra big Coke bottles, opted for the sugar-free fake blood, of which she had to drink probably a gallon. Unfortunately for her, sugar-free also meant taste-free. It only tastes like the latex tubes it's coming through, she recalled, which made her want to gag. And after her first experience on being Vampire Light, Paquin said never again, and from then on, she'd only settle for the real sugary, bloody thing. I am as big a fan of the French vagina as you are, Eric. But, but the studio-approved blood was nothing compared to the grossness of the cast and crew's own antics. At some point, during filming, the crew found a dead, squished toad on the set. A dark omen to be sure, but you don't work on a vampire show and not develop some gallows humor. So they took the dead frog, laminated it, and hung it on a lanyard. Dubbed the Toad of Shame, this monstrosity was presented to any cast or crew member who showed up late to set or broke something or left their cell phone on or whatever. According to one of the actors, whoever earned the most toads each season was awarded a rather hideous trophy adorned with golden toads and forced to make a speech. So at least someone on that show got an award to put on their mantle. <laughs> 